Bot's online trade server. Let's set up a trade bot. If you want to set up a trade bot and you're somewhere else in the trade server, just go to the left side and go to trade bots and then go to trade bots again. And then you'll arrive here. Okay, and I've already got a few set up. If you want to set up a new one, press the plus, then make a name for your bot and what account you would like to use. That will be where you'll be trading. Then of course you're gonna to have to select the market. Okay, and once you've done that, then you can click the bot. All right, and then you can go to the trade settings, decide how much you would like to trade. You'll be able to see the last buy and sell prices. And if you want, you can also choose an order template. Limit and market orders, of course, are supported on most exchanges, but here with this trade server, you can also use a so-called order template that you can set up yourself and you can make customized iceberg orders, spread orders, etc. You can also turn on high-speed trading if you wish to do so. All right, and to add safeties, then you come over here to the flag, and you hit the plus symbol, and then you can select from the list of safeties, for example, stop loss, dynamic stop loss, roof out, and so on and so forth. Okay, great. So you can select one of those. And if you want to edit that safety, then you just click it and you can edit the settings. And you can also, of course, change the price source. Where is this getting its data from? And you can get your data from a different exchange than the exchange that you're trading on. Okay, let's go back and now let's add an indicator. I've already added one. I'll just show you what it looks like. You just hit plus and then you get the list of indicators that you can choose from. All right, and after you've selected one, then you can click it and then you can adjust it again. The price source can be different than where you're trading. You could select that. I only have BitMEX and Bitfinex activated on this one, but if I had Hobie, OKCoin, or any other exchange activated, I could also use that. And uh, you can also use other markets. So let's say the exchange you're getting using the price source from has Litecoin, and you want to use a Litecoin signals to trade Bitcoin, well, you could do that, or the other way around. Interval, of course, you know, you want it to be a 15-minute EMA, or you want it to be an hour EMA, etc. Chart type, deviation, and of course, the length, short length, signal length, etc. Also, some indicators have um, trigger methods. For example, here we have signal cross, zero cross, and signal zero cross. If you want to check out the details to that, check out wiki.hasonline.com. You can check out the details, what that all means. And you can also go here to signal settings, buy segment, buy signal, sell signal, reverse signals, or a master signal. So perhaps you want one indicator to buy, one to sell. Well, you could then do that here. You could just set this one up to only buy or this one to only sell. You could reverse the signals or you could use it as a master signal. A master signal will override and it will, it will buy or sell. Usually all the indicators in a bot have to agree for an action to take, to take place. But if it's a master signal, it doesn't do that. It will, it will do what it wants. Okay, let's go over to the insurances. Click that symbol to go to insurance, the leaf. And here I have one already added. If you want to add another one, of course, you just hit plus, and then you come to the menu and you can add one. All right, and again, if you want to edit it, then you just click it and you edit the safety. Okay, that's about it. We have set up a trade bot now. We're ready to go. And uh, what we didn't do is we didn't activate it. So let's go back and just hit the play button. And do you want to activate? Yes, we do. Thank you very much. And there you go. We have set up a bot. It is activated and ready to go. Thanks for watching.